Hello, I am Mojka Nazipur TV from Bloomberg and in this talk I will discuss our paper titled Theme and Distinguishable Visual Keeping Appearance, which I completed during my PhD studies. This is a joint work with Omo Topkara and Bogdan Carbonar. Let's start with the definition of key fingerprints. Key fingerprints are compact representations of cryptographic material, such as public keys or shared keys, that need to be visually compared by users for authentication purposes. You can see here an example of a key fingerprint generated during a SSL session to allow the user to verify that she is connected to a particular server. Key fingerprints are shorter than the original crypto material, therefore are presumably easier to compare against a reference value. Throughout this talk, we consider the following key fingerprint-based authentication model in general. First, the user receives an input string that she needs to authenticate. This input string can be a cryptographic key, a file downloaded from internet, a Bitcoin address, or even a device identifier. A key fingerprint generation function converts this input string into a key fingerprint. Then the user needs to visually compare this fingerprint against a trusted reference value of the fingerprint that she has previously obtained through a secure out-of-band channel. We also consider a man-in-the-middle adversary who can inject his own input key and try to impersonate a remote server or device. Or a scenario where the adversary can send a corrupt Bitcoin address or file to a user. Generally, the adversary attempts to generate a special key whose key fingerprint representation looks similar enough to the trusted reference value in order to fool the human verifier. For example, here you can see the text-based key fingerprint representation of the attacker's key differs from the trusted value only in a few positions. There are several applications for key fingerprint-based authentication in remote authentication scenarios using SSH or OpenPGP, end-to-end -end encrypted messaging applications such as WhatsApp and also device pairing. In addition, key fingerprints can be used to prevent different attacks such as phishing attacks and Bitcoin clipboard hijacking. Or they can be used as a way to provide checksum for downloaded files from untrusted sources. Several types of key fingerprint representation techniques exist. Here you can see examples of text-based representations including alphanumeric, pronounceable words, and sentences. In addition, there are several visual key fingerprint representation solutions, for example, the visual host key used by OpenSSH, Vash, and Unicorn that convert the input string into an image. Various studies have confirmed that different key fingerprint representations affect user performance when verifying them. For instance, Tan et al. showed that visual key fingerprint representations generated by Vash can be verified faster and easier than several commonly used textual representations. The way Vash generates its key fingerprint images is by using a set of drawing rules, where these rules are selected randomly from a collection of hand-created functions. However, similar to all other existing key fingerprint representation techniques, Vash does not compensate for the limitations of human visual system, and as a result, it cannot guarantee collision resistance between the generated key fingerprints. In fact, an all study reported a human error rate of 10% for Vash images. In our work, we set to address these problems. That is, we seek to generate visual key fingerprints that take into consideration the limitations of human visual system. For this, we leverage studies that have shown realistic images are easier for human to compare and distinguish. Therefore, we set our goal to generate visual fingerprints that are realistic images. For this, as illustrated in this figure, instead of using handcrafted rules to generate images, we use generative adversarial networks, or GANs, to generate images that look like to the samples in a real image dataset. In practice, we can use an input mapper to convert the binary input key into a suitable internal representation, which we can then use as the input to the GAN network. Ideally, we want the GAN image generator to generate key fingerprint images that are easily perceived as different by humans, even for a pair of input vectors that are different only in a single component. To address this requirement, we introduced SEAL, a credential assurance label system that extends the DCGAN architecture for image generation with a novel training process that ensures the generated images are not only realistic, but also human distinguishable. However, asking human to evaluate the generator output during training is expensive and does not scale well. We also therefore seek to eliminate the requirement of labeling images using humans during the training process. 
Now we introduce see again, a GAN network that we train for generating key fingerprint images from arbitrary input strings. Similar to conventional GANs, CLGAN has a generator and discriminator. However, instead of one discriminator, our CLGAN network has two discriminators. First is a human perception discriminator, or HPD for short, that determines if two images will be perceived as different or same by average human. Second, we have the conventional realism discriminator, as in GAN architecture that is trained on a set of real images as well as images generated by the generator to predict if an input image looks realistic. During training, we combine the feedback provided by HPD and Realism Discriminator about the images generated by the generator, and we train the generator using these signals in such a way as to generate realistic and human distinguishable images. We design the human perception discriminator to be a Siamese network that takes as input two images and extract image features using certain layer from the pre-trained inception network. We then feed these features to several fully connected layers that we train using contrasted loss and cross entropy loss to accurately predict if the input images are perceived as identical or different by average human. We first trained and evaluated HPD. For this, we used more than 26,000 image pairs of which 558 were labeled each by up to 100 Amazon Mechanical Turk workers, and the rest were image pairs that we synthetically generated to be obviously different or same. We tested HPD performance over a whole dot data set of 112 image pairs that were labeled by humans, and it achieved a precision score of 84% and a final score of 82%. In our preliminary experiments, we observed that not all the components of the input vector to a GAN have a human observable impact on the output images. We conjecture then that some of the components have major impact on generated images, and we call them major components, while others have an indistinguishable impact on generated images, uh, and we call them minor components. Further, we conjecture that we can train specific components to be either major or minor using similar ideas as in disentangled representation learning. Therefore, instead of disregarding minor components for keeping up in image generation, we use them to embed image realism features. With this in mind, here is our C generator network. The input to this network has lengths of 512, and we set half of these components as major and the remaining half as minor components. To train CL generator, we train the network for more than 2 million iterations. In each training iteration, we generate different sets of input pairs and use them sequentially to train the network. In the first step, we use a set of input vector pairs that are only different in one major component. The generator generates corresponding images to these input vectors. Then we pass these image pairs through HPD and Realism Discriminator to determine if they look distinguishable and realistic and provide the answer as a feedback to the generator. In addition, we train minor components to have an indistinguishable impact on generated images. For this, we generate input vectors that are different in a single minor component and use them as the input to our generator. Again, we compute the output of HPD for generated images, but this time we define the generator loss in such a way as to train the generator to generate image pairs that look identical for such input vectors. In our paper, which I encourage you to read, we also train major components to have effects on different visual aspects of generated images. We evaluated the resilience of SEAL model that we trained to powerful gamma D adversaries similar to D Chandata. Specifically, we assume the adversary targets a specific key, then generates multiple attack keys that are different in only D bits from the target key. The adversary then feeds these keys to SEAL and generates corresponding visual key fingerprints. It then uses the HPD classifier to automatically identify attack keys whose fingerprints are perceived to be similar to those of the target key. The adversary then uses this key to launch the final man in the middle attack. To emulate such an attacker, in the first experiment, we generated 123 million target attack key pairs of lengths 123 bits. These key pairs were different in a single bit. We then generated corresponding fingerprints to these key pairs using seal generator and then feed these image pairs to HPD. HPD identified 121 samples as potentially successful attack pairs 
of which only two were considered identical when we evaluated them with 374 Amazon mechanical torque workers. In a second experiment, we generated an additional 123 million target attack keepers that were different in D bits, where D ranges from 1 to 123 here. HPD found 1473 potential attack pairs, of which only 23 were considered identical by our 374 Amazon mechanical torque workers. As you can see in both experiments, the human error rate of seen images was less than 2%. Here are some of the attack samples we generated along with their human annotation. We also compared seal against VASH under a general collision attack. For this, we generated 10,000 VASH and 10,000 seal images using random keys. We then paired each image in each set with all the other images in this set. And like before, we used HPD to identify potentially same looking samples and evaluate those samples using human subjects. HPD classified 150 of VASH and only one seal image pairs as same. When we labeled these image pairs using human annotators, 16% of 150 VASH image pairs were labeled as same, but not the only SEAL image pair. In conclusion, we presented SEAL, a visual key fingerprint generation solution, the first that generates key fingerprints designed to be human distinguishable, even in the presence of powerful adversaries. SEAL improves on the state of the art visual key fingerprint generation solution VASH, it is more resilient to attacks and it generates images that are still fast to compare by humans. Our research further provides in incentives to adversaries to build better human perception discriminators in order to improve the accuracy of their attacks. This in turn has applications to captures where the user would be shown pairs of images to compare that are known to be difficult to compare by HPD. Thanks for your attention and please contact us if you have any questions.